Hello and welcome to this week's security management course. Uh, I'm Professor Wool and today we're going to be talking about best practices in data center segmentation. So let's start with a simple example. Suppose you have your internet connection and you have a shopping application on your website. So you have a web front, you have an application zone, and then you have a data center sitting behind all those. And the data center includes where you would put the um, shopping cart information, credit card information from the, uh, customers' purchases, and so on. So that's all in the data center. But the data center also has other systems that support different needs. For instance, suppose you have an HR provider that needs access to your payroll records. So the payroll system is also in the data center. And you need access from your, to your partner, from your extranet, into the data center. So how would you do that? Well, you would connect your partner to the corporate firewall and then they can have access through the corporate firewall and the data center firewall. They can reach the data center and they can access the records that they need. Where is the problem? Well, if you look at this data center, you realize that there are a mixture of different systems in that data center that do different things and have different security requirements. For instance, credit card information coming from your uh, shopping application might be subject to PCI compliance, um, whereas data provided to your uh, partner should not be accessible from those systems and should not and systems that have that are accessible for, to your partner should not be able to access the PCI zone. So how do you reorganize your data center to reflect the different security levels that you have inside it? Well what you could do is you could segment your data center into multiple zones, let's say a, an orange zone and a blue zone. And you can do that using VLAN technology. So you can virtualize the networks inside the data center so that you can have a separate network for the orange zone, a separate network for the blue zone. And once you do that, you can connect the orange zone networks to the firewall separately from the blue zone networks. And now you can filter traffic um, and you can forbid traffic going between those two uh, zones in this firewall and the partner would have access through the orange path to the data that they need and that's all good you can go you can do one better than that because uh, instead of having another virtual interface on this firewall you can have a dedicated firewall just protecting the orange zone and connect it this way giving you even better separation and simplifying the policy on on the firewall protecting the orange zone. And now uh, traffic that you want to avoid between those two zones has to cross two firewalls, one protecting the blue zone and one protecting the orange zone. So this is better. Now in terms of connectivity, there is one thing that you can do uh, to, to streamline the network architecture even better. And that is, look at the difference between the legitimate path and the non-legitimate path. So the leg legitimate path is going from the partner zone to the orange zone, and that path has to cross three firewalls now. The corporate firewall, the data center firewall, and then the orange firewall into the orange zone. Whereas, and that's the legitimate path. However, the traffic that you want to forbid, that you don't expect to occur between these two zones, just has to go through two firewalls. So a better design would be to take this orange firewall and make it closer to its source. And now if you connect the orange firewall all the way to the corporate firewall, the legitimate traffic from the partner just has to cross the corporate firewall and the orange firewall and straight into this orange zone in the data center. Whereas traffic between these two zones that you want to forbid now has to cross three firewalls. So you're biasing the network design in favor of the legitimate paths and against the non-legitimate paths, which is more sensible from a network engineering point of view. Thank you for your attention.